we're finally in our little lodge and this is um 478 and it's in the oak area and then as you come in there's a little toilet and there's some coat hooks here and then you can see my little family there's daisy getting bored and this is the bathroom so there's a bath and an overhead shower there and toilet and a sink and then there's a little table here so we can eat together as a family which would be really nice a nice little drop pendant right there got a little kitchenette and then through here the high chair as well if your baby's big enough Daisy isn't quite yet and this is Bill's bedroom. I'm not quite worked out whether or not we're gonna put Daisy in here with him or with us yet. And then back over here is the living area. There's a chalkboard here, which is gonna be fun. Yes. And there's some chalk here. And these two are playing with their bow and arrow and that's the view outside. We've got a little terrace area with some chairs and a little barbecue at the back. And a big corner sofa. And here's Daisy. Hi! Hello! That was lovely, darling. And then finally, it's our bedroom. Which is a really, really good size, actually. And it's so nice. So, so nice. Oh, there's a hairdryer. I shouldn't have brought mine. I wish I'd known. Um, but this is the view and a little path that walks up and there's people cycling past. And it's so sunny, we couldn't have picked a better week to come. So, yeah, that is everything. So, yeah, enjoy coming around with our holiday. And kids, if you're watching this, this is the first holiday ever as a family of four. So, let's make some good memories.
like properly to the camera the whole time I've been here. Like I've done little snippets here and there, but it got to the point where I'm here in the middle of a forest with my family in this nice little lodge and I was just sort of thinking why why am I not just enjoying this and just filming the tiny bits because you know this is the only holiday we're going to get this year um, I want to make the most of it we've had such a lovely time Mark got old yesterday so he turned 29 um, but he says like you're only as old as the woman you feel which defaults him back to 28 again but it's not really that much of a difference we are nearing 30 i used to dread the idea of getting closer to 30 when i was younger i was like oh that's i'm so old but sometimes i still feel so so young and after things that have happened this year i realized that it's not really time that ages you it's experience sometimes and i guess you're as old or as young as you feel sometimes i feel like I'm four like Bill again when I'm playing in the pool like we're going to in a bit and then other times when it's been hard I feel like an 80 year old woman and it's just one of these things. It's so nice where we are, we're literally like as close as you could possibly get and we didn't really realise that when we picked the lodge because we did book quite late but you literally cross a little road and then you're just on the path straight to the little village area which is really nice and um, Mark is just chilling on the sofa. Daisy's fallen asleep on a plane mat, so we're letting her rest, and Bill is having ice pop, so she's just gonna chill for a little bit until she wakes up, and then we're gonna go to the aqua park bit for the afternoon and have some lunch there, and then we'll probably come back, feed Daisy again, get ready for our tea, because we're going to the Indian place tonight, and I think it's called Rahinda Pradesh, um, so that'd be nice. Um, let me go home tomorrow. Uh, we were here for like four nights, so we got here Monday afternoon because you couldn't check in till like three anyway. And then um, we're leaving Friday morning. So Mark still got another week of paternity leave left as well because we did statutory maternity, and it's worked out so well for us because he's had like an extra chunk of time now where things have really settled down with Daisy, and we're just enjoying ourselves as a family and. Bill, if you're watching this, you've been so grown up. Like, this is our last week with you before you go to school. And I'm getting all emotional, but it's been really special because I know that there won't be any times now where we can just grab you and go somewhere or enjoy just slow days together. It's going to be weekends and sometimes you'll be with your dad and... I've been so proud of you, you're absolutely loving swimming, you've been amazing, you've been such a good boy and you've had meltdowns like all kids do but you've been so good and you went on a pedalo today and you absolutely loved it, you were so so excited, you said you were scared all week and then you just smashed it and you were so good and Daisy, you are doing so well like you won't remember any of this if you ever look back on these videos you're so tiny you're only four months old but you haven't been sick all week touch wood and you are rolling over now and you grin and smile and chat away to everybody you don't really care who but you do have a soft spot for us three which is always nice and we took you on the pedal and we didn't think we could and you just grinned you did this huge wide-eyed smile and then it lulled you to sleep and you slept in my arms while the sun beat down on us and you could hear the water just trickling around and it was lovely it was so nice and i'm so proud of you both and Mark will probably watch this anyway and cringe at this bit, but I love you so much. I know things have been really hard for us over the past few months, but I think we made it and I'm just so lucky to have my family. So yeah, I've put in a few more clips of the day and you can see us get home. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog, whoever you are, whether you're my family or my friends or you're just someone that stumbled across this because you're wondering what the hell Centre Parks in Sherwood Forest is like. It's really good by the way, but yeah, I guess I'm going to go and enjoy my family again. I'm just sharing a moment because it's the 1st of September so they're officially advertising pumpkin spice latte. So I have the biggest one that you can get with an extra shot of espresso and it is so good and I'm so excited for like autumn and winter. It's going to be so amazing to be in a point where like our family's all okay and 
we're gonna do like Halloween and bonfire night and Christmas and Bill starts school but for now I think we're just gonna focus on enjoying our little summer holiday and I'm gonna finish this. Hey Bill, have you had a nice time? What's been your favourite part so far? Uh, where? Oh, we're going to go swimming. When you go swimming, yeah. yeah. Can you believe that when we get home after the weekend you start big school? I remember when you were Daisy's age and you were a tiny baby and now you're all grown up. Yeah. You excited? Yes, you want to go that duck there with the red beak. See, see one dead one behind you. Yeah, I saw him before. You can't quite see him on camera, but if I try and zoom in, he's there. I don't know if you see that little blob, but that is the little red duck with the black beak. This guy is not stupid. He keeps coming to visit every day for food. And he's absolutely huge. I don't think that this is giving full effect of just how big he is. And I'm kind of scared of him, won't lie. But he's very beautiful. He just stands outside the window. Can you imagine waking up in the middle of the night to a tapping on the window and seeing that outside? He's huge. Nice one. What is he doing? He's going next door to see if they've got any food for him. What's his name, do you think? Don't say Swanee. You have to think of something more imaginative than Swanee. Swanee! Is that really what you want to call him? Yeah. His name is Swanee Swan. Yeah. Swanee yeah. Squizzy. Swanee Squizzy? Yeah. Yeah, Daddy's squizzy. Okay. Is Daisy still asleep? Yeah. Yeah. When your life's been put on hold for far too long pulled us at the side of the road because we weren't really sure where to drop the keys so Mark has gone to try and find out where like we were on the way out and Mark was like 
There's no key drop off point and then we kept going and we're literally that close to just going onto the main road and driving home so I'm sat in the car listening to the Arctic Monkeys and waiting with two children and I'm waiting for one of them to start whinging or crying but it's not happening yet. I'm so sad though, like I'm really really sad because this was just, it was really what we needed. We've been through a lot this year so far and we're real, really in a good place and um, we're happy and we've got each other and I'm looking forward to the future now. I feel really good. <sighs> I'm not feeling good about that drive home though.